Whoops. the torch for this because all I need is the edge of this hardened. I don't need the whole thing. So Guys, so she's hard right there on the edge. All right, guys, so there it is. I got it cleaned up, um, ready for the temper oven. So I think it'll be real nice. It's got a real ergonomic flow to it. A little bit different than the last one I made. So we'll get this tempered and get going with it. All right, guys, so I'm just sharpening this thing up. Um, I want to do the water stones. I won't get as mirror polished as I did the other one because I don't have as high a grit. This is the fine. This is the finest stone I have. But um, I just wanted to give it a go this way and see how it comes out. So there's the edge. Um, it's not perfect. I was having a really hard. It's not perfect. I was having a really hard time on the belts, but I mean, it, it it's good. It's got the little bit of blemish there, but I say it's good. Let's take it to the uh, strop and knock the burr off, because especially with stones, I mean, you can feel the burr right there on the other side. You you get that with belts, but. I think it knocks it off of the belts pretty quickly. Um, you still should strop it. All right, let's see. Look at that, it's popping them off. Right there. Alright guys, well, we're going to drill holes for the handle and get the handles attached. Alright guys, so we're going to be using this handle material and all this is is like an acrylic material. It looks really ugly until you shape it down. But I've used this quite a bit and it's very pretty. Alright guys, so we got the handles cut out. Now we're just going to take on the flat side and kind of rough them up. Like that. And right like that. Alright, now we need to Double check, make sure our pins fit, and uh, mix up some epoxy. This one's a little big, so we're just going to sand it down. 
All right, guys, so there we go. We got that all cleaned up and we're ready for glue up. All right, guys, there we go. I'm going to take a clamp, put it right here. Take another clamp, put it right there. And then we'll get some acetone right here and uh, clean this up. There we go, we'll let that set up and come back to it. So we're just gonna cut the pins on the bandsaw and we'll go shape it up on the grinder. All right guys, so here it is. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, um, but I, I could take the handle to a higher grit and it would shine up a lot better, but I am going to use this for leather working. And this is why I'm, I can take and gently slice it in there. And I mean, it just slices through that like butter. I mean. I mean. Uh, that's pretty good right there. I've been needing something similar to this I have a knife and when you do the belt loops when you fold over a belt loops sometimes you can take and just slice this slice that back part thin like that so when it folds over it it's not as sticking off there as much it's it looks a little bit better I've seen some like big time professional leather workers do that I just figured why not Kirideshi is nice and small um, I might be able to do um, some tighter cuts with it so I hope y'all enjoy I hope y'all enjoy I'll see you on the next one have a blessed day